Schizophrenia is a disease that affects many Americans today. Now imagine how treatment could improve if this disease is detected early. The Division of Schizophrenia at Rutgers University have formulated a new tool to help in the early detection of this disorder. We talked to Dr. Steven Silverstein and Dr. Thomas Papa Thomas to find out more about this new tool. What we've done here is to study in schizophrenia how patients perform on uh, or how they respond to certain types of illusions, visual illusions. So a visual illusion is when you see something that isn't really the, the way it really is. Uh, what we have developed with Professor Silverstein uh, lately is a tool that allows uh, researchers to assess the degree to which schizophrenia patients have the disease, uh, what is the severity of the disease. The new tool consists of hollow masks such as this, which are shown um, to the patients and we ask them to find, to, we ask them to report to us whether they see this mask as concave, which it actually is, or as convex, like that. But what was discovered a few years ago is that people with schizophrenia, when they look at these uh, hollow masks, they're more likely than other people to see it as hollow. So this is a hollow mask, as you see here, but uh, controls see it as a regular face that protrudes outwards. But uh, people with schizophrenia have a tendency to see it for what it is. So in some sense, they're doing better than controls. It was the people who had the most symptoms, the most psychotic symptoms, meaning they were hearing voices or seeing visions or having delusions. Those are the people who are most accurate in judging whether the um, mask was hollow or not. The degree to which they do not see this illusion can uh, allow us, allows us to diagnose the degree of their, the severity of their illness. Along with the uh, hollow mask illusion, there is this other illusion called the reverse perspective illusion. As you see here, this appears to be um, a scene with two streets that are receding into the background. But in fact, if, when I rotate it, you'll see what it actually is. You see, actually, these streets are coming toward the observer, but because of perspective, people tend to see it receding into the distance and see this building come out, even though this building, if I rotate it in this direction, as you see, goes in. This building is a concave building. Ultimately, developing a cure depends on understanding what the problem is. Um, so this helps with that, but it doesn't directly translate into, uh, let's say, a new medication. Currently, it is extremely difficult to diagnose schizophrenia, and we're hoping that our tool will be used as a as an, yet another um, tool in the toolbox of diagnostic and assessing methods to, um, to schizophrenia research. With this new breakthrough, schizophrenic patients may be prevented from endangering themselves as well as those around them. For RUTV, I'm Anisha Krishnakumar.